In this video, what I'd like to do is look at the frequency response of first order systems. And I wanna find the steady state response given a particular transfer function and an input. So the transfer function I'm gonna be working with is 25 over 14s plus 18. And my input is going to be 15 times the sine of 1.5t. What I've done over here is I've listed out a bunch of equations from a table in Palm Systems Dynamics book dealing with a first order equation that has a very specific input that's sinusoidal. So we have this, this repeating input right here is going to be our amplitude. This omega right here is our frequency. And on this side, if we can get our transfer function to look at the for to be in the form of one over tau s plus one, where tau right here is going to be our time constant, then we're able to use these equations right here and just sort of go down the list and get our steady state equation. So if we the, the first thing that is true is we do have a input function that's in this form. So a is equal to 15, omega is equal to 1.5, but this transfer function doesn't look like it's in this form right now. So if I write this transfer function 25 over 14s plus 18, the first thing that I need to do and I'm going to do is I'm gonna factor out this 25. So I have this 25 times one over 14 S plus 18. And I haven't changed anything. I just factor out the 25. If that was the only thing I needed to do and the rest was an S plus one, I wouldn't have any need, even needed to factor out the 25. But I, I like to factor out the 25 just so I can get this exactly in this form. So the next thing I wanna do is divide out this 18. When I divide out this 18, I have 25 over 18 times one over 14 over uh, 18 S plus one. And now we are exactly in this form that we see. So in this form, our time constant tau is going to be equal to 14 over 18, which is going to be equal to seven over nine. So now that we're in this form, we're gonna just start with our magnitude. And with our magnitude, and I'm gonna deal with the, the 25 over 18 in a minute, but with this magnitude, I'm gonna have this as one over the square root of one plus omega. Omega is 1.5 squared times tau, which is seven over nine squared. And this is all under the square root. So let's figure out what this is equal to. On our calculator, there's a couple of things we wanna uh, keep in mind. Uh, when we're dealing with this next term, this tangent term, we do wanna make sure we're, that we're in radians. So I'll just take care of that now while it's on the top of my mind. And now I'm gonna put this in. So 1.5 squared plus seven over nine, uh, this is times, times seven over nine squared plus one. I want the square root of that. And I want to divide this by one. So this is equal to 0 0.651, we'll say. All right, and right now, I still have this 25 over 18 that's hanging out. So I'm gonna just multiply this right now by this 25 over 18. So times 25 over 18. And I get this is equal to 0 0.904. All right, so now I have my magnitude. Next, I wanna solve for my angle. My angle, theta, is equal to minus tangent, uh, minus the inverse tangent of omega, which is 1.5, times tau, which is 
seven ninths. So again, make sure you're in radians and we're gonna have 1.5 times seven ninths. And we're gonna take the inverse tangent of this and we get that this is equal to minus 0 0.862, okay? Now, the next step is to multiply our magnitude by our amplitude of our input. So we called that B. So B is going to be equal to 15 times 0 0.904. And we get a, this B value of 13.56. And then finally, we have all these pieces of information. We can say our steady state is equal to B. So 13.56 times the sine of omega T. Omega is 1.5, so 1.5 T. Now we have a negative uh, data term, so minus. 0 0.862 and this is our steady state response so hopefully this has helped you figure out how you can find the steady state response given a first order function when there's no uh, when there's no s term in the numerator the next video i put out we're going to deal with an s term in the numerator